Hello everyone and welcome to Howley Hall Golf Club here in Leeds. My name's Ryan Rastel, I'm the PGA professional here and the equipment expert for Golfshake.com. Today we've got a brand new set of irons from Shrixon, the ZX4 iron to take a look at. But before we do that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. See loads more content from all of us here at Golfshake to help you play more and play better. So many of you will have seen some of the reviews we've done on some of the other models of Strix and Iron earlier on in the year. And if you haven't, check those videos out as well. But this is the most forgiving so far that I've tried. And those of you that have watched those videos know that I've absolutely loved testing um, both the ZX5 uh, and ZX7 irons previously. ZX4 is um, slightly larger head, wider sole, um, features um, technologies in there for us that you know, are going to help when we don't hit the middle of the face. So um, basically we, we've got the wider sole, obviously we've got a, a multi-material body as well. So a forged HT1770 face and then a, a 431 uh, steel body. So the face is going to allow us to get that high ball speed we're looking for even on off center hits and the other technology Shrixen use is mainframe technology and that basically means that if we don't hit the center of the face there are parts in there that are going to maintain ball speed for us and with the best one in the world we know that not all of us hit the middle of the face all the time certainly I don't um, so any help we can get is obviously good now the groove pattern is slightly different as well so in the longer clubs it's a kind of wider deeper groove um, because we, those are the clubs we don't really want to get that much spin with. Whereas when we get eight iron down in this set, we've got uh, sharper grooves um, that are going to help get that little bit more spin. So those shots that we need to control um, are going to be aided by that. We've also got the VT sole, which we see on some of the other models. So we've got this kind of chamfered, um, almost V-shaped sole, and also um, the lower CG where we have these little steps in the side of it as well to help get more weight lower in the club, help how it interacts with the ground, and again, help us launch it and get as good a contact as we possibly can. Now, I've been very lucky that Strixon have sent me these clubs in a spec that I've used before. So we've got Modus Tour 130 shafts in here in an extra stiff flex so these should suit me quite nicely a little bit longer than standard as well it's potentially not the type of iron I would normally use out on the golf course but really excited to get out there and try it out on the golf course here at Howley so without further ado let's get out there and see exactly how these irons perform <laughs> of a baptism of fire we've got five iron here 209 yards to the back flag up there so we'll hit a couple see if we can get there but initially I was expecting this to look massive behind the ball but it doesn't really look too bad yes you can see the back of the golf club a little bit so some of the purists out there might not like the look of that but let's give it a bit of a hit and see how we go I mean like I say it's a long way up here it's into the breeze slightly It's as good a shot as I'm going to hit all day, I think. I'll do. It's on the green. Let's hit a couple more just to see exactly how this performs. But, I mean, I don't know if you got that on the camera, but it sounded unbelievable. And the height that we got on the ball flight was very, very good as well. So, really nice and high flight. And that's two in a row, absolutely flush to be fair. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and they've both, they're not quite made the distance, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to. 210 into the breeze is, uh, I mean, 205 is about how, I, how far I'd hit a five iron generally. Obviously we've got the wind, you can probably hear the rain. Um, so it's not ideal conditions, but um, they're both on the green and both probably 20 feet short of the flag. So the most impressive thing the sound was unbelievable, like I said, and the flight, it was just so high and nice little draw just into the flag. So, so we're gonna try out the nine iron as well in the set. So we've got five, seven, and nine to have a bit of a look at. Um, 
We've just gone inside that 150 sort of yardage, so that's kind of where I would normally use a 99 from, about 145, 150-ish. So um, we're gonna try it here. Again, we've got the back flag into the breeze a little bit more, but um, I mean, initially, it just fills you with confidence looking down at the golf ball. Uh, the head looks you know, quite big from sort of uh, heel to toe, but, but nice as well. The top line doesn't look really big. Um, I just think it's a really nice looking golf club. If it performs anything like the five iron did, we're very, very happy. Right, let's give it a go. Just the strikes off the face just feel fantastic. Just really, really good. Very high. They're just so easy to get the ball in the air with. And certainly you can see the progression throughout the set. So when we um, tried the ZX7, flight was much more penetrating the five again quite penetrating but very easy to hit with the sole and now with this with the four it's just so easy to get the ball in the air and like i say if you're looking for an iron that looks nice but also is very very easy to launch then this could be the one for you definitely and the flight the sound of the strike is just amazing as well just sounds like you've absolutely flushed everything that you hit. So very similar to the five iron, it, the flight is unbelievable. The, the sound of the strike is great as well. It, it's like a bullet coming out of a gun when you hit it. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I think that it, in terms of sound, it's probably the best that I've tried in one of these kind of wider sold kind of game improvery sort of um, hollow irons. It, it Honestly, it sounds the best of any that I've tried, but um, the ball flight is just so high, which for many of you out there will be amazing. Um, I think the way that the sole interacts with the turf, I don't know if you could hear or see that, but all the strikes came out absolutely fantastically and the ball flights were all very, very similar. So let's get up to the green and see exactly where they finished. So let's have a quick look at where these balls are finished. So bearing in mind, we were kind of right at the the limit of my distance with both of these clubs. So 210 pretty much into the breeze with the five iron and it's about 145 into the breeze with the nine. And with this super high flight that we're getting, I wasn't really expecting to get there, but let's have a bit of a look. So we can see with the five iron, there's one there, that's the second one I hit. The first one just down the right side, so just missed the green, but like I say, probably about 30 feet, 35 feet short of the flag. The third one, just got it turned a little bit and it's finished in this left hand bunker but when we look at the nine irons I tried to flight that third one down a little bit and take a bit of uh, height off and it was quite easy to do that nearly got up into that back portion of the green and then the other two you can see are um, one just here in front of me and the other one just on the right hand side of the green so even though um, like I said I was right on the limit for my distance both of these clubs have, have pretty much got where I'd expect them to go with my own golf clubs and the feel off the face is amazing. That's something I just cannot get across to you enough of how good they feel and this is pretty typical of every Strix and Iron that I've tested but um, I think for those of you out there that are after something that's going to flight that little bit higher, be really forgiving but actually looks really nice behind the ball this could be the iron for you. So hopefully you've enjoyed uh, that review. Hopefully you've enjoyed me testing that. Give us some feedback on what do you think? Do you own Strix and Irons yourself? Are they a brand that maybe gets a little bit overlooked when it comes to, to irons? And certainly previous to this year, I've not really hit any of their products, but I've tried three sets of irons now and every single one has blown me away in the category that it's kind of pitched at. So they're definitely, um, a brand and an, an iron manufacturer that's definitely one that you should be going out there and testing so but let us know what you think have you got any questions as well about the different uh, models of the irons or how we go about custom fitting them like i say if you are looking at a set we always recommend you go and get properly fitted and you know these are no exception but please keep watching all of our content here on the golfshake.com youtube channel and play more and play better